everyone, Rhea Buet here and can you guess my vlog for today? Right, this is my Instagram feed tutorial. I know a lot of you guys have been requesting this video over and over again on Instagram and Twitter. And if you've seen my Instagram stories before, I promise that when I reach 500 subscribers here on YouTube, I'll be releasing this video. I know it took me quite a while to upload this and there has been a lot of delays. Um, until I finally had a chance to upload this video. I hope you guys understand that I'm still new with this whole YouTube vlogging thing. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'm still getting used to um, looking for the right music for my videos, looking for the right concept, and of course, taking the time to sit down and edit the whole video. It really takes a lot of time for me. And I know eventually um, I'll get used to it. Hopefully it will be faster the next time. But anyway, today it's going to be a video about my IG feed. For those who are asking about my Instagram stories, what app I use for that, I still haven't decided if I'll disclose the app or tell you what I use because um, as of the moment, I really want my Instagram stories to be different. So I really hope you guys understand that and maybe in the future I will eventually share my secret app with you. So yeah, I think that's it. I wouldn't want to keep you guys waiting and I know you're here, you're watching because you really want to know what app, how I edit everything about my Instagram photos. So yeah, here it is. So guys, let's do this. Please uh, focus your eyes on this part of the video. So first, I know a lot of you guys have been wondering what camera I use for my Instagram photos. Uh, well, actually I use two cameras. Um, I use my Fujifilm X-A3 for the wide photos for sceneries. Then for the portrait, I use my Canon EOS M with a lens of 50mm f1.8 and for my vlogging video today I finally upgraded to Canon G7X Woo, I'm so happy well if you ask me who my inspiration was for the whole feed it would be Vanelli Melly you can check her Instagram out it's so nice and well um, I really love her so yeah you can see my feed is very colorful and really not um, super OC with the photos that I post. As long as I like the photo, I'll post it. So yeah. To start off, the first app that we're going to open would be... Guys, open VSEO. As you can see, I have my previous edits um, on screen. I like to keep them in my library because I usually go back and use the edits I used before. So anyway, as you can see, I already prepared um, some of the photos that we're gonna use for today's tutorial. So let's first open um, this photo there. Then go to your filter page, filter section of the app. For the filters, I actually just randomly um, select filters. That well, it actually depends on the photo. So um, for this, I'm gonna pick A7 and then go to your contrast and then do the adjustment. Like, um, I think I want plus one for this. So guys, um, this is the difference of with filter and no filter and uh, contrast. Then next, let's go to sharpen. So um, I'm doing like... Uh, 2.5 for this. Once you're happy with that, let's go to go to saturation at 0 0.5 to that. And then let's go to face since I want like my photos to look very vintagey. Let's add like at least 2.0 for that. 
Then for my green, I usually add like 5.0 to 6.0 green on my photos, depending on the size of the photo. So yes, there you have it. And then let's go back to the rest of the photos. To make editing faster, I usually like select all of the photos that I want to apply this filter on and then just simply like copy edit and paste edit edit on the photo so there can you see the difference there so look at the other photos and this is how the initial edit looks like on the rest of the photos that we have so I'm gonna pick another photo with a different lighting and let's pick this photo from our initial filter as you can see it doesn't look nice so I'm gonna try a different filter maybe so yeah let's do a 10 for this photo to get a brownish um, tint on the photo then let's go to fade adjust it 3.0 those exposure since it's kind of bright so Let's darken the photo a little to like negative 1.0. Then, basically, that's it. Then, let's go to the next photo. As you can see, A7 um, doesn't look really nice, but let's try to see and adjust the exposure to 1.5. I think it doesn't really look nice um, with the A7 filter, so let's try A8 and adjust the. Uh, the filter strength to like filter strength to like 10.0 so there you go that's it go check out the rest of the photos and see how the filter looks like on those photos if you're happy with it just select all of those photos select all of those photos and save it in the most medium size the reason why I save it to medium sized photos because I want to make it look super vintage. You actually do or like increase the photos on Instagram, it looks more great. So, yes, that's it for our Visco tutorial. When you're happy with that, go open Afterlife. I use Afterlife for the textures, that's where I get the dust effect on my photos. I'm gonna show you the top two textures that I use on most of my photos so keep watching then let's go to the texture there's a dust part there I usually use one and two what we do is um, let's click on the contrast button so I, I usually use that to like change the white dust to, to black so I'm um, just adjust it according to your preference and then if you want to add more streaks to make it look very vintage go check on the streaks there so if you're happy with that go save um, the photo you can use um, medium or matte I, well I like to save it on matte for the photo then actually do the, the same edit on the rest of the photos and yes that's it most of the edits um, really depends on the photo. Not all of the edits or filters that we have will really look nice on every photo. I swear, it really depends on per photo. And then let's go to the green app. It's a free app as well, like Afterlife and VSEO. So, open that app. And then, as you can see, I already have my scheduled photos from before. If you check my Instagram feed, it reflects the same thing with my grid so yes this is how I actually plan my my Instagram feed my photos so there you can also add captions to it really depends if you want to use that it's just a guide what we're gonna do is we're gonna select all of the photos that we um, edited earlier I usually do like a light dark light dark light dark um, sequencing on my feed so as much as possible, I post photos of myself and it was so vain, I know, but um, I used to do flat lace before, but I realized in the engagement on those photos aren't so good compared to photos with 
no, my face in it. Like, so yeah, kanya kanyang style, guys. So yes, that's it for my mini Instagram um, feed tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed something from me today, and sana I was able to answer all of your questions, like um, how I edit, um, the apps I use, and the filters. So again, guys, um, I really don't stick to just one filter all throughout my Instagram photos. It really depends. That's why I sometimes reply with um, the be afraid to experiment, explore different filters because that's really how I do it. I just explore and then edit, 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 fix, fix, fix. It really depends on per photo. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you're happy with it, hope you can share this video, okay? Thank you guys and um, I'll see you in my next vlog.